Winter is our favorite camping season. It's calm, it's serene, but it also has its major spikes of intensity. <laughs> this is a three-part mini-series of our latest winter escapades. Oh, that feels so good. That was Wind chill is negative five right now. Here's the earring I made last night and a couple I made recently. We'll see if I get around to finishing this earring and then maybe selling them. We'll see. Just clearing a space. Yeah, just to, just to delay the inevitable. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even feel it. <laughs> Already numb. That's awesome, dude. I just had an out of body experience. <laughs> I told the angels that you guys said hi. <laughs> okay, you're next. No, no, I'm not doing that. No, no. I'm gonna get cookies by the stove. <laughs> you're welcome to come out some hot tea. I'm going back in. It's cold. Come on, let's go. Good girl. Good girl. You think I can do it? Yeah. I mean, it's so cold outside that it's really not that bad. Like, I that doesn't make any sense, but that's how it feels. Okay. <laughs> Your quick claps. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> My toes are cold. Uh. I'm just gonna run it. bad though like truly not that not that great but it's not that bad and the pain only lasts like a minute or two mm -hmm. i kind of did it a little bit <laughs> you really have some good mind over matter 
ability. Thank you. I was surprised. I didn't think it felt as cold as I thought it would feel. Like it didn't bite as much. Isn't it interesting how when your feet are in the water, it feels slightly warmer than when they're in the snow? Yeah. Because it's just little ice crystals versus slightly warmer water. Yeah, it felt way warmer in the water. The snow was biting. Yeah. And you see Pete? Yeah, it takes a lot of energy out of you to do that. <laughs> Here's a matcha latte to warm me up in the cup I just made coffee in. A little coconut milk. You blend that up first. A little maple syrup. And fill the rest with milk. We're gonna give camp a quick spa day. as much as me. Camp, relax. Dude. That was. Dude. Hey, chill. Okay, we're done. That's all. That's all. Good boy. Yeah. If I take camp off this leash, we'll never see him again. Huh? He loves the snow. Come on, Camp. Your girlfriend is not impressed. Hey, Camp, this way. Oh, God. You see? This way, over here. Good boy. We are very low on wood and the stores that we normally get it from were all sold out of the wood that we typically get. So I'm gonna grab some of this oak that's laying around everywhere. Yeah, oak, isn't that crazy? It's like this scrubby species of oak. I don't know what it's called. Maybe we'll put it in text, but yeah, I'm gonna grab any pieces that are laying around on the ground and um, chop those up for the stove tonight. That should be more than enough. I'm gonna let it dry out in the sun for a little bit before I cut it up. <laughs> we just got a couple of these guys in the mail today. They're not like one of the super nice brands, but these were way cheaper and I don't think we need the super long ones because as long as they hold up decently, then that's all we really need because hopefully we'll never need them. I kind of want to mount them vertically like this. What do you think? Pretty cool. Because if we mounted them flat, then we would have to scoot the roof box over and then it would be walked off to the side, which is fine, but... I don't know, maybe we could do that. Well. These will just be good to have for snow and mud and ice and stuff. Sand even. And we can use them too to like dig. And then wedge them up underneath the tires. And then they grip and they kind of like shoot it under. Move a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't want to get the super long ones because we'll probably never need them. Yeah. So I'd rather just work with these and like try harder than have a super giant thing on the roof. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously pretty jazzed about being able to keep meat in the scamp because we cannot stop eating these freaking Italian sausages. So I thought I'd show the camera what it is that we're eating. We try to buy the best quality meat that we can when we do have meat and we like this stuff. It has been an absolute pain in the butt to cook food because it is so frigid out here. My face and my hands are about to fall off as we speak. So I got some of these pre-made curry meal things from Natural Grocers to see how they are. And we needed to get those sausages cooked. So my theory is that this will taste good together. It smells like chili. I don't think it'll be bad. It's just weird mixing Indian with American. Italian sausage. Or Italian. My dinner date tonight, huh? It tastes like chili with a little hint of curry. That meal was a solid 5 out of 10. I wouldn't recommend, but I would eat it again. This has been our three-part winter camping mini-series. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have not already seen the first and second episodes, please go check them out. Thank you so very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!